guys, it's me again. This is for Taurus, the week ahead, starting tomorrow, Monday, October 12th, till Sunday, October 15th. So let's find out what's going to happen for you this week. Um, we're going to start with some, um, these are proverbs, quotes, sayings by people to help give me a general idea on what might happen for you this week. Or what you've been going through. <laughs> Alright, I need her to know as loved she wasn't. I need her to know, as loved, she wasn't the first, as always, she'll be. Gary Mansfield said this. I need her to know, as loved, she wasn't the first. Okay, so, <laughs> this is somebody recognizing you probably weren't their first choice or who they thought they would end up with, but somebody loves you very much. This could be somebody outside of your normal standards or type. They didn't expect to fall for you, but they did. Or this could be somebody you're meeting this week. I feel like you already know this person, though, Taurus. Let's see. Let's get some more. That was a very confusing quote. <laughs> when I lay with you, I could stay there, close my eyes, feel you here forever. You and me together, nothing is better. Adele from one of her songs. Yeah, somebody really recognizing. I feel like this week they're really going to be recognizing how much they need you, how much they love and appreciate you, or you could be recognizing this about somebody else. I feel like this is something that didn't start serious. You could have been like friends with benefits, or you could have just been seeing where it's going, or you weren't even expecting love at all. You weren't looking for it, but you started to see somebody, and you're like, bam. <laughs> this person is it for me or they're recognizing this about you but this week is very much about love for you Taurus good stuff lately I've been I've been losing sleep dreaming about the things that we could be counting stars I almost started singing <laughs> I love that song so lately this person has been on your mind and you've been on theirs I feel like this is a divine counterpart situation like union happened for you too, or is happening this week. If it hasn't happened yet, bam, it might happen this week. Or you're just really thinking about somebody from your past that you were with. You could have broken up and now you're both realizing like, shit, I didn't really want to break up. It could be that situation. If it's not your situation, don't take it. Could have a couple groups coming in. This is a collective reading. But I really feel like for the most of you, you're in something that you didn't expect to ever be in or get this serious this fast is what I'm recognizing here. Dreams don't work unless you do. <laughs> Ooh. So, because this is so intense for you, you might be like hitting the brakes like, whoa, I cannot feel this way this fast about somebody. Taurus, your energy is very defensive this week. Like, am I making this more than what it is? Do they care about me the same way? Am I, am I being dumb? Like, do I give this person a chance? I'm hearing all this stuff. But I feel like you've always wanted this connection. You've been looking for it, whether you were actively looking for it or not in your soul. This is your soul recognizing that you wanted to feel this way or you've wanted a relationship like this your whole life. But now you're scared because it's right in front of you. And I feel like you're on the brink of either running or jumping right in. But you're panicking a little tiny bit. But they're recognizing this is the dream you always wanted. This is the universe giving you what you've manifested, whether you realized it or not. If you want it to work, you got to be willing to put the work in and not run away, is what they're saying. Ooh. Time for a health checkup. It's always good to get a tune-up. Or well, maybe you've been worried about your health. This could even be a pregnancy scare. Or you wanting to make sure that you don't get pregnant so you're going to go and get on birth control. You might not have been with someone for a while. I'm definitely hearing that. I feel like that's a small group, though. This could even be being checked for the virus. Um, You just feel like something's off within yourself. Pay attention to it this week, they're saying. Um, if you have migraines, go get it looked at because I just got a strong, sharp pain for a second. Um, if you're not seeing clearly, go get your eyes checked up. If you haven't been tested for the virus and you're concerned about it, go get it checked. Could just be it. 
animal pack smear anything but something that's been nagging you that you've been wanting to do chores they're like pay attention something about your health is nagging you could even be get go get your teeth cleaned or your ears checked it doesn't have to be something huge I just feel like a health concern might come up this week stop excusing rudeness just because they're your superior you can demand respect in an adult way without losing your job Ugh, so you got a little bit of a bossy boss going on <laughs> or a situation at work this week that they're just rude to you and you're maybe a little bit, not that Taurus, you're ever afraid to speak up. You are known for speaking up when you feel like your back's in the corner, but because this is somebody who is superior in a, a position of a boss, I'm feeling like you're holding back a little, but you don't have to go in there and be like, listen, you son of a bitch, I'm sick of that the way you're talking to me like anything crazy you can say it in a respectful way like are you okay you know you've been a little a bossy and a little short with me have I done something that upset you or you could just ask questions like what's going on maybe um ask if they're all right they could be stressed out as well but if they're treating you like shit at work this week you have every right to be treated correctly whether it's a boss or someone beneath you and rank I'm not saying that anyone's beneath anybody but and as far as work you have boss you know and then you have regular employee so if your bosses aren't treating you right just because they're your boss doesn't mean you can't go in there and be like listen I don't want to work in an environment with this much tension what can we do to fix this that's a completely acceptable. And if they flip out on you, go above their head because no manager or boss should treat you like that, especially if you come in a respectful way. You have every right to say, hey, I don't like how you're treating me. It doesn't matter who anybody is. You have every right to worry. So if you're feeling mistreated at work this week, you might be urged to say something. Or maybe you're going to see it in a different light. Like maybe you're going to see that they might have some family stuff going on or some stuff with their kids or because of the environment of the world issues, work is chaotic. You might understand something that you missed before. But you might, you might come up like, listen, I know you're having troubles at home and I'm sorry it's so stressful here, but you can't take it out on me. What can I do to help you so that you're not so stressed? Try that approach. Worrying about the problem has never been a useful solution. All worry does is kick up fear and anxiety, and it makes it so much harder on you. Instead, zen out and breathe. Center and take it day by day. Stop letting worry eat at you. I feel like this is your boss. Maybe you feel like you're going to get fired. Maybe you feel like you're not liked or appreciated at your job. I'm definitely getting those vibes. If it's not job, it's about people in your home. Um people that are older you than you and your family, anything like that in the sense of superior um, could be age. doesn't have to be like a position. You're just worrying about something. It could be this love situation. You might have two things coming in. You might be dealing with work and family shit, but then you also got this love on the table, which could be why you're overwhelmed and kind of want to run. Or they're telling you to put the love into it. Maybe you have a relationship with someone you work with as well. Just so they're bringing up work and love. But basically, you're letting worry eat at you. And Spirit's telling you you need to take a breath. Zen out, center yourself, your earth sign. Um, being centered is vital to how you make decisions. So, whatever makes you feel good this week, do it. If you're a meditator, meditate. If you need more sleep, get more sleep. Take a walk, work out. If you like food, order a pizza. If you <laughs> but you love and just stuff your face and watch a comedy show and laugh. Something that takes you out of your stress and out of your head. Do that. And that'll help you see things clearer as well. Everything will work itself out. All you can do is pray and keep doing what you're doing. Okay, so you're on the right path here, spirits recognizing that you are handling it in a good way. No matter how much people are snapping at you you're not snapping back as hard as it is for you to do Taurus um you're trying to see the bigger picture you're trying to understand that everybody's got shit going on the world's chaotic and it's not going to help anyone for people to just snip at each other so you, I feel like you are trying to be the bigger person and be the peacemaker here so just keep doing that it recognize it will work itself out I just feel like everybody around you is super stressed 
This is also talking about the love situation. Um, all those fears and worries, it's going to work itself out if you give it time and don't just run away from it and not want to deal with it. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep listening to that inner intuition. If it feels good, if this person feels good to you, why are you questioning it? Just go with the flow. And if work is stressed out, it isn't going to always be stressed out. I just feel like it's a stressful time for everyone in your life. I'm definitely getting everybody has something going on around you and you're just trying to keep the peace, which is very stressful on the peacemaker, but you're doing a good job. I hear doing a good job. So it's very hard for you not to snap. I'm definitely recognizing that. And you really put the work in and not making things worse. So good for you. Keep doing that. As hard as it is for you, you do need to take time for you as well. And sometimes taking time for yourself is just walking away and letting them fight it out. If, if that's what it's going to take for you to have that inner peace, you can't always be the peacemaker if you're off balance. Sometimes... When people in my life are fighting and I've tried, I've said everything you could say and they're still choosing to fight. I step back. Let them fight it out. It isn't your problem. You know, you can't be everybody's savior all the time. You got to save yourself sometimes. That's not selfish. That's completely necessary to keep your sanity. So keep your sanity this week no matter what goes on. Yep, honor thyself. This is the Notes from the Universe on Love and Connection deck. Just curious, when was the last time you looked into the mirror and addressed yourself as gorgeous, magnificent, and sublime? It matters. Here's looking at you, gorgeous. The universe. P.S. Okay, hubba hubba counts. So, I know I said I get cheesy with this one. <laughs> I always say, hey, he's looking at you, gorgeous. I've got this in a few readings, but that's from a movie. And I'm sorry, I'm a total movie buff. <laughs> but this is talking yourself up, like... You're taking so much shit from everybody. Everybody's chaotic in your life. You might be hurling insults or just being rude. This is you talking to yourself like, listen, they're dicks, but I'm, I'm a good person. You know, I'm fantastic. I am beautiful. I am handsome. Self-love, self-pat your, yourself this week. Because people, I know they aren't showing it, but I feel like they really do appreciate you out there, Taurus. You really are the glue that's holding it all together. And when this is all over, I feel like they are going to come to me like, listen, <laughs> this month has been so horrible. I couldn't have got through it without you. But right now you need to pump yourself up because there's a little bit more rough patch to go through. You're really trying hard to save everyone else, but you're forgetting about yourself. Honor yourself. Keep that inner peace. You have more options than you realize. It sure is hard to get really angry at someone when you can think of all the reasons you love them. Love and you can the universe. Exactly. I feel like you do love your job. You do love your co-workers. You do love this person that's freaking you out. I feel like everybody's just snappy. And you're recognizing that that's really not them. They're just going through a hard time. But it also makes you scared. <laughs> is this how they are going to be forever? Am I going to have to deal with this forever? No. This is a temporary situation. You have more options than you realize. So if you're really called to leave a job and this boss has been like this more than for a little while, it's time to go. That could be them recognizing like you can get a job somewhere else and be treated well. But... I feel like you have more options in this love situation as well. I feel like you don't think that they are matching you. Maybe maybe you need to sit down and have a talk with this whoever the lover is up here that you're scared about. It might not be for everyone. It could have two groups, one work, one love, or both. Take what resonates. I think you need to sit down and have that talk. Like, listen, this is getting pretty serious. I have very serious feelings for you and if you're not there yet it's okay but I think I just need to get out of my body have that talk so you're not so stressed and worried about it let's get some angel tarot number 20 renewal review and evaluate a favorable assessment of facts time to move in a new direction Ugh. review and evaluate this is about work a favorable favorable assessment of the facts this is about really reviewing how you've been treated from when you started till now. How long has this bad treatment been going on? You might be called to be like, listen, this is more than I can take. I'm not here to be your emotional punching bag. I'm here for a paycheck. 
I, I want to love my job. I want to love what I do, but you make it hard. And I know I'm better than this. It's okay to get up and leave a job if you need to. There are always going to be other jobs, but there's not always going to be your sanity. You know what I mean? Pick your sanity first. Um, or this is you really, like I said, recognizing that your boss might have a lot on their plate. This is, might be you coming up and like, listen, I think you need some help. Let me help you. And taking a new road out of being so, having so much attitude, it might switch to respect because you did offer your help. It's just going to be moving in a new direction, what's called to you. If you want to give this boss, this job a chance, you're being called to take a new approach to it. See it in a different way that you haven't seen it before. Or only you can know this if you've been treated like shit for a long time and you really don't think that they're ever going to change. It's time to go because you don't deserve that. Nobody does. Nobody deserves a horrible job and a horrible boss. This could also be talking about your love, having that conversation, moving past fear and anxiety about how you feel because you discussed it. It might take the, the runaway nerves out of it by understanding and making sure you're both on the same page with things. Four of Earth, being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate. Okay, I kind of feel like it's either the other way. Either you're overspending more than your means. Um, it might not even be for like frivolous things. You're just not making enough money, which would be another reason to leave a job or get a different job. Or this is you making good business decisions and stepping up to your boss and offing, offering, offering, <laughs> that was a bad blunder, offering your help to make things lighter. You might get more hours and make more money. But giving to those less fortunate um, this could be the lover. Maybe the lover isn't working right now and you are working. You're trying to hold everything down. You could be giving to them to help pay bills to anyone in your life or someone could be giving to you. But I feel like giving to less, those less fortunate are the people in your life that have been really crabby and really off. It's about giving your time and giving your attention and giving your respect. It doesn't always have to be about money. Your time is just as valuable as money. So by going in and be like, are you all right? You know, I feel like you're very stressed. What can I do to help you? That in itself might just make your boss feel like, I just really needed someone to acknowledge that I'm drowning over here and I can't believe that you care. I put you through so much shit and here you are wanting to help me. That might raise respect. You know what I mean? Oh, the world in reverse, number 21, Archangel Michael. A job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. I feel like you are doing a job well done with keeping the peace, but you're not feeling anybody's recognizing that you're really busting your ass, like you're going above and beyond, and you just feel like everybody's kicking you and, and things aren't going the way you need it to. But I feel like it's really like this. <laughs> you just don't see the truth of it. This is them not appreciating you, being stuck in their own rut and just being nasty and negative to you. Which is making you feel off your game. Which is not fun for anyone. Nobody should feel like that. Like I said, you'll know what to do if it's a boss that's not normally like this who really treats you well and all of a sudden they're like really snappy. You're going to recognize that they need some help. Or if this boss has always been a dick, it's time to go. You will recognize what's true to your story. Take what resonates. Spirit will guide you if you open yourself up. Let's find out what's going to happen this week with the Magdalene Oracle card deck. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't finish my Sunday. Sundays are very busy for me. Crazy days. Trying to get everything done on Sunday. Heart and soul. This is you putting your heart and soul into your job. Putting your heart and your soul into a lover. Really speaking from the heart as well. And trying to be the better person in the situation. I feel like you're going to continue that this week, but you're also going to take, this is more about the lover. This is following your heart, having that heart to heart this week, I think needs to happen. I'm not sure if this is one group or two group, if you have work shit going on and lover shit going on, but they keep bouncing between work and love. Maybe you are in love with your boss. <laughs> you could even be that. Yeah, illumination. You're going to see the truth this week. You're going to see, like I said, you're either going to see your boss 
really struggling and, and needing help or you're going to see it's time to go. You're also, this is about the love situation, um, you're going to see the truth that they probably feel the same way, runner, chaser type of situation, like do I stay, do I go, is this real, is this is too intense, it's scaring me. Like I said, I feel like you're going to have that conversation and get on the same page, which is going to really wake you up to, okay, I was panicking for nothing. Like, this is a good thing. I'm making a mountain out of a molehill. You're really going to get illuminated on what to do, both about love and work. Family. Ooh. This could be a family business I'm hearing for some of you. This could be you acknowledging that you want to have a family with this love. Or you bringing them to your family. Getting a few things. Let's clarify. Ooh, Universal Christ. Okay, this is coming. <laughs> this is um, trusting the people in your life that are have always been there for you, have always appreciated you. This is coming home to people that you can trust and coming home to yourself. Seeing the divine order and everything. Um, recognizing what's good for you and what's not, either leaving a job or talking to your boss or leaving a love situation if they're not on the same page or staying. Just going to get a lot of answers, a lot of clarity this week. You might be introducing your person to the family. This is you just trying to do the right thing, trying to keep the peace, turn the cheek to all the angry type of stuff. Co-creation and confusion. This is you working hard to clear up the confusion on what should I do about my boss and their attitude? Should I stay? Should I go? What should I do with this lover? Are they on the same page? Do I want this? Is this right for me? This is you within yourself figuring it out this week. A lot of answers are going to be coming towards you. Let's get the wisdom of the Kula to close it out for Taurus. What's this? We going to look like for you, Taurus. Anything else, Spirit, you can tell them to help them through their week? Synergy. Ah. Yes. This is like really recognizing, like I said, is this job good for me? It doesn't match my vibes. Is this going to pass? Am I willing to even work it out? This is also about a lover. Do we sync well together? Do we flow, ebb and flow through these good and bad times together well? This is you taking the rose-colored glasses off and really seeing things and really evaluating it in yourself to figure out what you want to keep and what you don't. Which is good stuff. Yeah, discovering this week the truth of situations, the truth of why you're getting treated the way you are at work or if it's going to change. Discovering the truth about this love situation. You want answers and you're going to get them this week. I feel like you've You've done enough. Yeah, you're wide open with how you feel. You're also wide open with your possibilities. You could get a new job. You have more options than you're realizing. As I said, the universe is wide open to you. You've been really trying hard here to be a good person. And they're going to reward you for that. For trying to be that glue. The world is wide open. Nobody has ever stuck. It's just an illusion. Kaleidoscope. Yeah, you're just, you're very in your head, especially about this love situation. Like, if the truth, it was distorted, and you didn't know what to do, you're back and forth, but this week is about really getting that clarity and trusting that inner voice. So, Taurus, my advice to you is to sit back and to protect your inner peace, work on centering yourself, and really seeing the truth for this love, truth for work, and coming home to yourself, what's best for you, and really putting yourself first. It doesn't matter if everybody else is stressed out at the end of the day. You've been trying, been trying really hard, and you don't need to keep putting in so much work if other people are not matching you. Go with what serves you. Leave what, what does not. This week, you're going to get a lot of answers and a lot of clarity, so pay attention. I hope it's a good week. Regardless of all the shit going on, remember to protect your zen and do what's good for you and take care of yourself this week. Love and light. See you next Sunday, guys. Bye.